you're probably thinking we've done it. We've covered all of the gangs in Red Dead Redemption 2 for that playlist. However, there are still some smaller gangs in the game waiting to be explored. In this video, we are going to be exploring, or shall I say re-exploring, one of them. I have done a video on this gang in the past, but in the grand scheme of things, I think it wasn't as good as I could have made it. Hence why we're rectifying that with a video that's actually going to be good. And so today's video is going to focus on the Watson Boys. While exploring the open world, you may come across a random encounter with an escaped criminal from a chain gang. Upon freeing him from his shackles, he will give you a robbery tip. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes! Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. This tip leads us to Watson's cabin, which is located along the Little Creek River, north of Big Valley and Strawberry. A modest cabin in the woods, the windows are boarded up, the chimney is puffing smoke, meaning there is somebody home, and outside there's the occasional chicken and a donkey. Inside, a rather nice looking old lady sits reading a book by the fire. Nothing about this place seems remotely untoward. This'll be an easy robbery. No need for tactics here, let's just walk right on in. About damn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. Sorry, what are you talking about? Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell and I ain't in a sociable mood. I ain't sure what you want from me, lady. Are you dead in the head, boy? Put the loot down in the cellar with the rest of it. Is that clear enough for you, you dumb yak? Which one are you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. She tells us to put the loot in the cellar, clearly confusing us with somebody else. Down in the cellar, we can find many bullets, dismantled weapons, and a semi-auto shotgun that we can steal. There's not really much else down here, but it's clear that there's more to this old lady upstairs than meets the eye. Upon heading back upstairs, the woman will detect that we've been stealing from her and say this. What the hell you think you're doing? You put that back, or we will hunt you down. You always this hospitable with your guests, lady? Let me give you some advice. Turn around. Walk out of here. Get far, far away. I'm just gonna take what I need, lady, and be on my way. I said, get the hell out of my house. Now, you son of a bitch! Stealing from me is the worst mistake you ever made. As you leave, she makes a threat, and if you keep prodding her, she'll have more dialogue. I'd start running if I was you! What? You gonna rob me? Is that it? <laughs> you may be even more lean witted than you look. Look at you, you slack jawed clodhopper. You have the first idea who you're dealing with? She doesn't scare easy or at all, and before she attempted to run off, she said she was going to get her sons. Indicating that they can be of a violent disposition, she eventually name drops the gang they're a part of. Uh, how dumb are you? Ain't you heard of the Watson boys? Now she's run off to go fetch her sons. Sin a bit, Grandma. 
Now, if we return to the cabin a few in-game days later, she will be there surrounded by her four sons, the Watson boys, all armed and ready for action. It's important to not go in guns blazing or we'll miss some cool dialogue. I don't know who's dumber, you, Ethan, Edgar, or Ezra. Keep telling you, Ma, we'll get you a new place. Anything you want. Ain't like we're short on money. I want a new place. I got everything I need right here. How many times, Elijah? Shut your mouth or I shut it for you. And now we have the names of the Watson boys. Elijah Watson, Ethan Watson, Edgar Watson, and Ezra Watson. A four-man gang that is actually led by their mother, as they're discussing moving her elsewhere, but she expresses complete disinterest in that plan. Elijah states that they're not short on money, so they are clearly a rather successful gang. Anyway, let's go and say hello. These four off that list. You, you dirty son of a bitch! If you kill her sons, Mama Watson goes completely ballistic. With no regard for self preservation, she will attack you relentlessly, cursing your name. Die, chicken prick. Cursing your name all the while. If we leave her alive now and then return later in the epilogue, you will find her deceased corpse in the bed as we've robbed her for all she's worth and killed her breadwinners. I don't think you even have to be in the epilogue for this to happen, as this image I found online definitely isn't. You've just got to kill her sons, spare her life, and come back later. Anyway, inside the house loot-wise, there is a lockbox with some money in it, and a chest that also has some money in it. But there really isn't anything significant here, at least not as far as loot is concerned. You can find some jewellery and other odd bits, but the interesting thing is this scrap of paper that can be found on the table in the kitchen. A picture of the Watson boys and a couple of newspaper scraps, one saying Sheriff places $500 bounty on the head of Ethan Watson, and another reading Edgar Watson escapes jail hours before hanging. It doesn't quite tell us what the Watson brothers got up to, however, it gives us an indication as to how dangerous they were deemed by the law as Edgar Watson was due to be hanged, and Ethan Watson has a $500 bounty on his head. Well, he did. He at least doesn't have a head anymore. We can also find a delightful family photograph of Mama Watson and the Watson boys, but there's no real indication as to what this gang actually got up to, really. However, Red Dead Online may give us the answers, as Mama Watson appears as a quest giver. Let's get a look at you. I'll see so good. Jiminy, I'd raise you in this house, there'd be some meat on them bones. You want some of Mama Watson's stew? No, I suppose you ain't got time for eating. Job's a prison wagon. Some of them Russell boys been caught. They need sprung. And sprung sooner rather than later. You'll find them on the road outside Strawberry. Get along now. We'll see what you made of. It's only really dressed up to give you an excuse to do a glorified fetch mission, however it would appear as if the Watson boys, or at least Mama Watson, had a hand in ensuring other criminals broke out of custody. And as the newspaper scraps on this piece of paper show us, the Watson boys are quite proficient at evading capture and escaping custody where necessary. In Red Dead Online besides this, Mama Watson can offer the player assassinations, interceptions, and early release missions which are essentially breakouts, and considering she's clearly the leader of the Watson boys gang, it gives you a good idea of what her boys get up to. Mama Watson can also be heard expressing contempt for Colm O'Driscoll and the O'Driscolls in general before robbery missions in Red Dead Online, which I think is a cool detail, and also in the scrapbook she can be found reading, it reads, Elijah Watson wanted for murder. So it's a fair assumption that the Watson boys get up to killing people quite often. Now, there is a different version of events to your encounter with the Watson boys, if you kill Mama Watson straight up. <coughs> If you do this and return to Watson's cabin at a later date, there will be a grave outside, presumably the old ladies, 
and inside, the Watson boys will be waiting for us to return to take their revenge. You made the wrong move coming back here. And you sure as hell don't go near our... Upon approaching Mama Watson's grave, Arthur will have this to say. Couldn't have happened to a nicer lady. Well, at least this way the Watson family gets to die together. The Watson boys appear to be inspired by the Dalton gang from the comedy western comic series Lucky Luke, considering they are four brothers with their mother as their leader living in a small cabin in the woods. And beyond all of that, that's all there is to know about the Watson brothers in Red Dead Redemption 2. And West Elizabeth can rest easy knowing that's one less gang infesting the wilderness, because we killed them and their mum for good measure. Bringing us to the end of this video, hopefully it was at least significantly better than the last one I did on this topic a couple of years back. Thank you all for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be awesome, and be sure to whack on notifications as well, it really helps out. And with any luck, hopefully I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, take care and goodbye. Let's go Dennis, we've got more work to do.